folks, welcome to Mr. Peace Film Review and I'm here with another retro review. If you have just tuned into this channel and it's your first time, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and hit that alarm bell because I'll be coming to you with more regular content. This month marks 25 years since the second highest grossing film of 1994 was released. Let's see if you can guess what the film was based on some of the clues. It won six Academy Awards. It's got some of the most quotable lines in film history. Mama said, life was like a box of chocolates. Run, Forrest! Run! That's right, Forrest Gump. It was a film that earned Tom Hanks his second Academy Award, which he won back-to-back -back after from William Philadelphia. Robert Zemeckis won Best Director, won Best Adapted Screenplay, and again, after Lion King, it is the second highest grossing film of 1994. Forrest Gump tells a story of Forrest Gump brilliantly played by Tom Hanks, a slow, dim-witted, but kind-hearted individual who we see in the opening sequence of the film waiting at a bus stop to see his long-lost love, Jenny. And the people that come and sit next to him at the bus stop, he basically tells them his life story. And his life story is incredible. It involves him being involved in some of the most influential and most defining moments in the 20th century, i.e. meeting Elvis Presley participating in the Vietnam War, meeting three different presidents, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Baines Johnson, Richard Nixon, being a witness to the Watergate scandal. And this film on paper, a simple tune who witnesses some of the most significant events in world history, should have been a flop. But it also was a vehicle, when you look at it, it could have been a vehicle for Steven Spielberg, but it was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who has given us one of the most touching and most brilliant and most loved and adored stories of 1994. It won six Academy Awards and again, again I'm still on the fence whether it should have won all of those awards. I still say that my previous view, Shawshank Redemption should have won some of those awards. But it still is what it is. It's still a touching and enjoyable film. Robert Zemeckis as a director is incredible. And again, he is known for pushing the boundaries in terms of technology but also he's an excellent director when it comes to handling comedy fantasy and drama and if you look at his previous works i.e the back to the future franchise death becomes her who framed roger rabbit uh, romance in the stone another classic he has put together a really really brilliant and touching film Tom Hanks did an incredible job as Forrest playing the slow but kind-hearted Forrest and again we care for Forrest this isn't just a simpleton character. This is a character with heart. We care does he get to see his long-lost love, Jenny. We care does he get to reach his potential in, in the world. And the drama and the comedy and the fantasy are all in equal measure. Forrest does go through some trauma in terms of his mama, in terms of what he goes through with Jenny, in terms of losing his friend, Bubba Gump. And the director makes us care. And also, what I loved about the direction of this film and something that still stands to this day is the fact that Robert Zemeckis and the folks at Industrial Light and Magic crafted some beautifully impressive and incredible visual effects sequences where they made Forrest come into contact with some historical figures like I mentioned in the beginning and it looked incredible and it still holds to this day. There are certain films where you see the visual effects and think, okay, oh, that's a bit stale, that looks a bit dated, and it's not as impressive as you saw it then, but it's still impressive to this day. What I also loved about this film is that the supporting cast. Robert Zemeckis crafted a incredible group of actors, all classically trained, who have all given their absolute best to this film. Sally Field as Mark, the excellent Michael T. Williams as Bubba Gump, Robin Wright Penn, who plays Jenny, Gary Sinise, they were all on mesmerising form. And what I loved most about this film was also the soundtrack. The soundtrack takes different parts that actually adds as a narrative to the story, but it also reflects the particular period of time. So you've got music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So you've got Sweet Home Alabama. You've got music by the Cal uh, Mamas and Papas. California Dream. I love that song. It just adds beautifully. And the soundtrack, when you listen to it, it just takes you on a time travel. Even though I was born in the 80s, you can imagine what it was like to be living in the 70s. And again, this film is just very, very rich in character. I think the most touching moment was where you saw um, Forrest see his long lost love, Jenny. She's found out that she's actually had a baby and he asks her, is he slow? Because he acknowledges who he is and he thinks that he may pass it on to him. But it is just beautiful the way that that scene is actually created. 
and just the historical elements. And again, on paper, the storyline is so outlandish, so over the top and so outrageous. It works beautifully. But again, Forrest Gump, happy 25th birthday to you. Stupid is as stupid does. Run, Forrest, run. Life is like a box of chocolates. Thank you for those quotable lines. You still hold your own as a top film of 1994 and easily one of the most enjoyable films that one can watch today. So I'll give you a very, very strong 9 out of 10. So that's my retro review. And like I said in the beginning, subscribe to this channel. There's going to be more comment, more content, more reviews, more joint reviews. My boy Joe Cobra, there's going to be a lot coming. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the alarm bell so you can get notifications from me. Leave your comments whether you've seen Forrest Gump. Leave your comment with what you would like to see me review from a film from 1994. And I shall see you on the next film review. Take care.